Hey everyone, this is Peter Holdman. I am here today working on a um, photograph that I posted on Instagram and had a request to make a video showing how I had edited it. So here we go. The picture you can see here in its uh, original state and we're going to turn it into the picture that you see here. So, um, as you can see, we're working in Capture One Pro 9. I have the uh, photo here in a new new screen. I have s edited this already, so we're, we're going to kind of redo that, and I've got some notes on what I had edited. So when I go in to start a picture like this, what I will usually do is come in, um, check my white balance, in this case, um, I know we're going to actually go a little bit blue to get the um, sky, and we're going to um, do a local adjustment on the bottom to <clears throat> bring it in to, to warm that up a, a little bit later. Then normally I'll come in and do some shadow and highlight um, recovery. In this case, we'll open up the shadows on the bottom here and then uh, use some highlight recovery to bring some color back into the sky. Um, probably not too much. Um, once we do that in, a, in an image like this in Capture One, I've got the option to do the um, advanced color editor. So I'm going to try and bring a little bit, darken that blue out a little bit more. Um, so we'll come in here and uh, bring a little bit more saturation in and bring the um, bring the lightness way down. You can view the selected color range. So it looks like it's only grabbing a very small slice. So let's. Uh, increase this there really isn't any other blue to speak of in the image so we should have a fair amount of latitude to open this up so that's going to grab most of that sky and darken it out some maybe a little bit more here all right um from there, we're going to go back over. Um, this is a custom toolbar I have that has pretty much everything that I use editing a normal photograph. I don't normally go into the color editor unless we need to do the um, skies or we're getting some weird over or under saturation. Um, let's go into our exposure module. Oh, um, Let's get rid of this uh, if you select a color range that was why we were locked out or only seeing the blues there um, so we'll, we'll also go in here use levels this is kind of like setting the uh, black and white points in uh, Lightroom so this will set your black point and your white point um, so that just brings a little bit of contrast back after doing the, uh, the shadow recovery. And we'll throw a little bit of contrast in to give it some punch, but still have this, this foreground area lightened up. Um, now I've got a sky color that I like, but the, uh, the foreground here is really not as warm as it looked. This is pretty early after sunrise, so we, we had that nice golden hour light. So we're going to go in and make some, uh, some local adjustments. If you're not familiar with Capture One's um, local adjustments, they have a gradient tool similar to Lightroom, but it's kind of a painted in and it's it stays there rather than Lightroom's um, ability to draw it in um, and then move it. 
both of them have benefits and drawbacks. I, I kind of like capture ones because now we're going to go in and uh, get the brush tool and then add a little bit in on the barn so that we pick that up. So let's do that. Um, so zoom in on here a little bit and kind of clean up those edges. In this case, I would rather have my, if there's going to be any overlap, I'd rather have it inside the barn than outside because it'll show up more on that sky than on the barn. Uh, but we'll harden this up and maybe shrink it down a little bit. Um, kind of go around the edges here. And then let's do the same to, uh, to the outside so that we can get a pretty nice clean edit on there. Not too far. Uh, get rid of that. And fill this in a little bit. Do that, draw that in. So now we've got that pretty well masked. Uh, zoom back out and then we'll hide our mask. Only display it when we're drawing. Then I'm going to call this layer um, color temp because we're going to um, do another layer. So this one is going to, we're going to bring the uh, bring the color temperature up quite a bit so that we get kind of that effect of the golden light there. I think my original had it at about 6,010. So now we get that nice morning glow on the, um, on the foreground on the barn here. Um, then we're going to go in and these areas in here, are a little bit dark yet. You can see the, the sun's hitting them, but it's not really bringing the color out. And then I want to kind of let the greens over here stand out. So we're going to create a new adjustment layer, and I'll call that Brighten. Uh, then we'll come in and set the exposure. It's only going to come up a little bit here. But then I can come in and start painting this in. Um, soften that brush up quite a bit. Make it a little bit bigger. So we can kind of draw that in. Draw this in. Just to kind of bring that green out a little bit. I think it makes it pop a little bit more. And maybe bring this up just a little bit more uh, right about there so if we turn that off um, let's uh it's a little bit hard up in there so i'm going to kind of feather that in so let's go in and 
erase around these edges just so it kind of soften everything up a little bit and see how that looks I think that looks just about right so yeah there we go and then uh Go back down. Oh, where's my? Oh, you know what? Um, oh, that's what. That's what's going on. This one shouldn't be here. Um, okay, so if we take that color temp out, you can see how much that cools down. So, warm that up. Give it that nice morning glow. Then open these. Uh, open this area up a little bit more. Um, and just hit right there once more. I think that looks pretty good. Um, the only thing left, we're still not getting that deep blue. So I know on my original edit, I, I left this kind of toward the end and that would be to, uh, bring in some saturation. And actually here I ended up with um, quite a bit more than I would normally would, but I think it really pops the, the blue and makes this, uh, the, the area on the front, the warmth really come out. So that's what I go through, um, editing a photograph like this again, starting out with the, um, white balance, the HDR settings on here and then levels. And then from here, kind of look at what maybe could be improved in the picture with some uh, local edits, some added contrast or saturation. So hope that helps you guys. Um, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. If you like what you see, like and subscribe the video. Thanks and have a great day.